I already know this video is gonna have to get split into two because I've just, it's our, we're already at like 40 minutes, I think. There's no sun today, so I'm having to improvise with lights in this room, so I know that it's creating kind of a weird shadow effect, but just bear with me. I have all of this to show you. Aren't you excited? I am to get rid of all this garbage that hangs out in my closet. So another round of natural non-toxic empties and mini reviews. Let's get into it. So two teas are sitting right on top. The first is the Feel Forever Tea by the brand Herbal Philosophy Teas. Beauty Bar carries this line of teas and I, the last time I made an order I just needed kind of a small thing to kick me over to free shipping and thought I would try this. It's kind of a nice tea to have in the afternoon or maybe after dinner if you're having kind of like a sweet or chocolate craving. It's really good with milk or cream and a little bit of stevia. It has organic gunpowder green tea, organic cacao, organic raw carob, cinnamon, tulsi, and it does have a little bit of stevia already in it, so you don't really need to add very much now I'm remembering. I liked this. I'm not sure I would buy it again, but I am curious to try other teas from the Herbal Philosophy Tea line. And then the other one I thought I would quickly mention is the Allegro Organic Breakfast Blend. So, horror of horrors. Whole Foods was out of my favorite English breakfast tea, which is the Republic of Tea British Breakfast. I sing the praises of that tea all the time, and I kind of like can't really drink anything else. They were out. It was like the only Republic of Tea that they were out of. Damn it. And so I was like, well, I need, and I was like, ow, I needed like, definitely needed another tea. So I picked this one up. It's really good. It's actually very comparable to the Republic of Tea one. So this is 20 tea bags and it's around $5. The Republic of Tea British Breakfast is 11-ish dollars for 50. So they're basically comparably priced. If you are faced with a similar predicament of your store being out of the Republic of Tea British Breakfast, this is a really nice comparable tea. I finished up a pack of my favorite face wipes, the Bloom Naturals ones for, I think these are for sensitive, dry and sensitive skin. I love these. I've been going through them a lot faster because I have been taking my makeup off with these every day to use up a face cleanser that I have that doesn't function as a makeup remover. So these are fantastic. Do you see my hair today? I feel like I always make a comment or a disclaimer about my hair, but every time I look at it, I'm just like, good grief, Mercedes. I am throwing this away, speaking of bad hair, because I really like cannot deal with it. It's the Alafia Neem and Shea Butter Scalp Recovery Shampoo in the scent Rosemary Tea Tree. There's over half of this left, probably 60%. I tried, guys. I really tried, even on like days when I didn't want my hair, didn't need my hair to like look good. I just, I hated the way that this made my hair look. It gets your hair clean, but it... Uh, this actually showed up in a disappointing products video, this along with the conditioner, which the empty conditioner bottle might be in here too. I used that to shave with, but I really hated washing my hair with this, and I have a different thing to shave with now, so I don't really even feel like shaving with this, so I'm just going to toss it. I can't stand it. Oh, yeah, it's like right here, so I'll just pull it out and show you. It was the accompanying conditioner of the Alafia Neem and Shea Recovery. I didn't like this for my hair either, but I did shave with it. Conditioners are really good to shave with if you if they don't work out for your hair. This was in May Favorites. It's the Renew Life Candy Gone Powerful Yeast Cleansing Program. Amazing. It worked really well for kind of resetting my digestion this spring and kind of getting things realigned and moving and I felt great after I did this. So if you want to hear kind of more in depth, I did a cleansing video where I talked about doing this and candida cleansing in general or yeast cleansing in general. And I talked about it more extensively in the favorites video that I talked about this in. So I'll link that down below. I have an empty Republic of Tea British breakfast just to show you guys how much I love it. And I think I even went through like another, in the time that I've been accumulating these empties, I think that there was another one of these that made it into the recycling, but I think I saved one to just show you guys that I really love this tea. 
And then I also finished up one of my Bija Body Daily Beauty Teas. I think I have two tins of this left. I kind of stockpiled when they went out of business and were like selling all their stuff. So it's, again, it's a loose tea. Absolutely love this tea. It's unfair of me to gush about it because you can't get it anymore. I'm still like praying that Bija Body might go back into business someday because I just really loved their products. But this is just a really, really nice kind of spicy, warming, nourishing, delicious tea, and I really like it. And I'm going to be sad when I use up my other two tins. This, like, little bit just came off, but apparently I went through two packs of the Gloom Naturals Dry and Sensitive Skin Wipes just to further illuminate how quickly I'm going through these these days. I have, like, a bunch of little skincare things in here. This is the Suki Nourishing Day Cream. I actually just just finished this this morning. This came in a sort of deluxe discovery sample kit that a friend gave me for the holidays. And this was the last thing in the set that I used up. And I'm, I would venture to guess the rest of the products are sitting at the bottom of this empties trash can. I liked this. I, however, like the Otisite Day Cream that I'm using right now slightly better than this. But this is a very nice cream, face cream, and a very nice skincare line in general that I just realized by the cost carry. And then this was the Leilani Mermaid Mask. I probably got three or four uses out of this little sample that I had and I quite enjoyed it. I think I'm going to consider getting a full size of this mask because it's really affordable. Yep, another Suki product. This was the Moisture Rich Cleansing Lotion. This was actually my least favorite product in the bunch of Suki products. I just... I didn't, I didn't love it. You have to obviously take your makeup off separately and then cleanse your face with this, but I don't know. I don't really know what to say about it. It didn't wow me in any way, and I don't think that I would um, procure this again. Another day cream. Actually, this is exciting. It's exciting to finish up full-size skincare products that you bought a while ago. So this is the Pie Chamomile and Rosehip Calming Day Cream. I really liked this. It lasted uh, at least a year, a year and a half probably. What I will say is that the consistency of this changed towards the end of me using it. Maybe it just kind of went bad, but what happened is a couple of months ago, so it was on its last legs obviously, the consistency changed to be like watery. It wasn't like a congealed product anymore. So basically I assume what has hap what had happened is that it had separated, meaning it had gone bad. But I kind of still continued to use it, <laughs> which is like, you know, question my judgment on that. But my skin was not adversely affected in any way, but yeah, I probably should have tossed it when the consistency changed. It was a nice product, however, again, I do like the Otisite Day Cream that I'm using slightly better than this, so that would be what I would go for for a full-size purchase over this, but in general, I love pie and I was really happy with the purchase. I finished up a bottle of the mouthwash I use. It's the Desert Essence Natural Tea Tree Oil Whitening Plus mouthwash, the one that comes in the opaque white plastic bottle. This brand also makes another mouthwash that comes in a clear um, container, and I've never tried that one. I can only attest to the whitening one, and I like it. I have another bottle going right now. George's Aloe Spray Mister. I have another one of these, and the only thing I use this for is to remove residual makeup after a face cleanse, double cleanse, whatever. It's kind of nice to spray on a cotton round and then on my face, and I'll kind of, any makeup that's kind of gotten uh, in my hairline or kind of down on my neck that didn't get removed with my cleanse. I like use, I mean, it's honestly just kind of like using water. I don't know why I even spend the five dollars to get this, but I'm a product junkie. I need help. Candle, that was obviously a success because I burned it all the way down. Yeah, I remember really liking this one. This is the Aloha Bay Abundance Energy Candle. So if you're looking for an Aloha Bay candle to try, this is my favorite one, actually. The healing one, I'm, I'm blanking on the other one I like. The love one. The love one is also good, but this I like this one better. It's lavender, fur, and chamomile, and it was just really nice. This was a La Vanilla deodorant in vanilla lavender. I'm upset that they no longer seem to be making and or Sephora no longer carries the 
particular La Vanilla one, La Vanilla scents that I like most, which is the Blackberry and I can't remember the other one. I have a Lemon Vanilla one that I haven't opened yet, but I love La Vanilla deodorant. It's just, it's gentle. It's effective for me because my sweat no longer seems to be as pungent as it used to be when I was kind of first transitioning to natural body care beauty products. I this one I successfully was able to get like every little bit out. I scraped and basically decanted the remaining bits, which I have bitched about before. Like the design of this product kind of sucks because when you get down to the bottom, you're done using the product, but there's product remaining. You can't really use it functionally anymore. So I scooped every bit out and I put it into another container I had and I just kind of used it as a typical, like the Schmitz deodorant, I would use it in my fingers and put it on my armpit. So I really feel like I got my money's worth with this one. Um, these are wrappers. Let me pull out a couple things. Let's see, this was a one use Bloom Naturals Organic Tea Tree Face Wipe. I hadn't tried this particular one. It's for combination and oily skin. I wouldn't get a whole pack of these just because tea tree oil used regularly on my face I'm afraid would be much too drying so yeah it was just a sample and I used it but I wouldn't buy this one of the bloom I like the dry and sensitive skin ones the best this was a one oh actually no it wasn't a one-time use it was a little sample packet of the Molly's Suds laundry powder I have the all sport laundry detergent liquid that I actually showed up in a disappointing products video just because I don't really think that it's worth it to get an extra laundry detergent just for your sportswear. But they had also given me a sample of their powder detergent. It's very clean. It's a very clean laundry powder. But again, Molly Suds is you have to order directly from their website. And I just think that there's other clean laundry powders that you can get at your grocery store or even Target or on Vitacost. So yeah, it was fine. I think I got four loads out of this little packet though. And then this was the packaging from the cognac sponge that came in a Petty War box. I got the, I think it's like the red clay one that they gave me. Rich red clay for dry or mature skin types. So I have this in my bathroom now. I use it maybe once a week as an exfoliator. Again, I don't like this brand as much as I like Dr. Sponge. I've talked about that before. And this is the, the Cognac Sponge Company. In general, I like Cognac sponges, but the only one that I've noticed, seen a noticeable difference in my skin in using is the original Dr. Sponge.